I have three students that as of last year um, were sent to Schwetman. Um, they were told that they couldn't do it, that they couldn't perform. As of this year, to, collectively, they've read 10 chapter books and they have made incredible gains and I'm just so impressed by them. They come in and they try to beat each other to tell me what they read about. They're reading the same chapter book and they're absolutely loving reading and I think that that's really phenomenal. Reading independently with the color levels has helped me become a stronger reader. The first thing I can tell you is the behavior has actually become the best it's ever been in class. We stick to our rules and during independent reading time we stick to no cell, no walking, no talking until the bell. And just that current um, stabilization of the rules every day, it seems like the kids can really sit and focus and they know what's expected of them. Negative behaviors have changed since implementing Arla. Um, once I got the students to buy in with Arla, they, they've turned a complete 180. I have students who had no interest in reading their reading chapter books now, and it's been an incredible difference. Like, you become a better reader by doing it, it really helps. Um, it's really helped with behavior because everyone knows what the expectations are. And I've had students um, that have come in mid-year and the other students that have been with me all year quickly get them on board. Oh, we're not doing that now, it's reading time. And so it's helped establish a structure so that there's a smooth flow and there's more time to teach things instead of handling all kinds of behaviors. Adding those procedures have been incredible from my classroom management. Um, my students are well aware of what goes on in the classroom, when they grab their books, when they grab their folders. And I think that it does them well to have that structure. At first the kids were a little against the independent reading, they thought it would be boring, but now they have um, gotten more engaged, they're in a series, they look forward to reading their books, they have time to do it, and a lot of students have tried new books that they maybe would never have tried before. So um, there really has been a change. Reading is now something positive and not just a worksheet, but an actual book. It gave me more confidence uh, when I went from a lower level to a higher level, so it made me feel more uh, confident and comfortable when I was taking my FCAT. I think by implementing that independent reading, they've been able to, one, read on their own, but then also show what they know. Coming up to see me, I have an opportunity to meet with them one-on-one, -on -one, small group, and I really get an opportunity to, one, see who they are, two, see what they enjoy, and really, three, see what they're learning, what they're getting out of what it is they're reading. It's just me and her one-on-one -on -one at the moment, which I really like about it. And they can really show me, I may not have it at grade level, but at my level, I'm able to rock it. And I think that that's really cool. When I get to uh, meet with my teacher one-on-one, -on -one, it's quiet and I uh, get to actually speak with her. The, the rules of 10-minute whole group and then moving to 30-minute independent reading and then a five-minute wrap-up, it really has got a, a lot of time extra for the kids in small group and that one-on-one. -on -one. And now each student has that individual goal, which of course helps us to differentiate the instructions to meet their needs. When we have our one-on-one -on -one time, uh, like she can understand me better from where I'm coming from and what I need help with more. And she helped me a lot. One of the benefits is that the students actually have time to read real material. And because some of them work, some of them have sports and other activities that they do. So by the time they get home, to read for another 30 minutes on top of their homework can be a lot. So we actually give them real time to read their books in class, plus the fact that I'm there to help if they have word trouble. And sometimes during that time I spend with conferencing with a student while they're reading, and that has really built personal relationships. I know what the students like, I know what their interests are, I can take them to the back room, sh help them shop for a book. I think that's a whole educational process in itself. So there's been a lot of time to do more personal one-on-one -on -one with the student while everyone is reading. Oh, she gives me helpful titles of books that I can get started reading again. She actually listens to what I actually want to read than just telling me to read something out loud. Um, she gives me strategies and stuff I can practice on outside of school to help me. It's made me very aware of my students' needs. Um, through it, analyzing exactly where they are, it helped me begin to see how I can scaffold their reading and where they need to start with and how they need to grow. So it's helped me to expand, not just on looking at the strategies, but differentiating for the needs of my particular students. I think it's given them some um, desire to see that I can do this. It gives them some self, um, 
self-monitoring that they want to succeed and that they can do this and they watch everyone else so when they observe the other students having that conference time they'll say to me you haven't met with me in a week when do I get to happen and we put them on the calendar for an appointment and then of course in the end they become better readers they actually like to read and we have a lot of students that have never read before so this is that first aha moment their achievement level increases and they love to read now so they're hooked if you wanted to uh, read better read with Carla.